So further, uh, I will deal. I will deal with few topics. So cooperate for that. These will be short topics here, like. You must be known about in physics you must be know you you should know these two terms one is unification and another is reductionism as the words indicate this means to unify to join to join and this means to segregate segregate or to divide it's possible to divide or derived from derived from divided parts derived from divided what that what does that mean i will explain to you for example take the take the first the unification for example take the example of newton Newton as you might have heard that one day Newton was sitting under a tree he was under a tree so here is Newton I'm not very much classic in drawing so mainly with that so for that uh, Newton was under a tree and you might have heard this an apple was dropped over on his head he thought that why this apple fell down and he came to know that he concluded that there is a gravitational force there is a force which is mass times the gravity mass of this mm, mass of this apple and furthermore doing research having a deep knowledge about uh, the different facts of universe like he concluded that same law same force applies to the planets as well planets as well that is this is sun around it planets are revolving planet is revolving he concluded that the laws of nature which are uh, which made this apple to fall down same laws of nature are applied and manifested on to the sun and planet solar system to make the planet to revolve around the sun inside a elliptical path so he tried to something you can say he tried to unify two different domains like this is the terrestrial domain we can say terrestrial domain he unified unified terrestrial domain with what planets stars astro these are the celestial celestial domain that is the domain of that is he unified domain of earth with domain of sky this is the word unification this is the term unification you have to understand that so far that in physics you try to unify different domains for example newton did unify the this terrestrial domain which is applied on to earth with the celestial domain which is applied on to sky similarly in the contrast in contrast to this another term comes reductionism it is another uh, sort of uh, dealing with things for example we have a system a huge bulk system a huge system big bulk system of gases 
of gases with temperature something with pressure something with volume something we have to study different physical things which are physical phenomena which are going inside this system say this system is a star like sun or this is something which is even observed on this planet our planet say it's ocean huge ocean as we know we can't observe every part of every part of the our every part of our sun we can't observe every part of our ocean say for example what we do for that we take a small sample say from ocean we take a small sample but not only one we have to conclude this very result over onto many many samples many samples because always error comes out error is there so to reduce error you have to take many samples so for example we take a small sample of seawater or the sun which are we dealing with we take a small portion for that to observe under a telescope say here we take a small part of the system small part another small part and we observe it under the lab this small portion is taken under the lab under experimentation and different phenomena which are going inside these small systems are observed and after that observing different samples of observing different small minute tiny sample um, samples from this very huge say, uh, huge system which we were dealing which we have to deal actually with but we cannot directly deal with that so we take a we take few small samples from them and conclude that this very say for example xyz phenomena or, uh, which are these are mechanisms by which we can understand this very sample what does reductionism mean it means that the same process which are going inside these small minute systems which are taken from the bigger one same x y z phenomena must be taking place inside the parent source for example star for example ocean any observed observables which are taking place inside the tiny 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 samples which are taken from the parent source these mechanisms must be followed in a similar fashion inside the huge bulk parent source so if we join these small samples this plus this plus this same result will be followed in the original one because these are taken from we have reduced the parent source to smaller sources to smaller samples when we join these samples together we will get back when we join these different samples we will get back the parent source so the phenomena which are occurring inside these samples must be occurring inside the parent source and the mechanism which are governing and the laws of physics which are governing these samples must be also applied to this parent source so that means reductionism means that we reduce a huge system into smaller ones and conclude that whatever is going on in the, whatever is going on in the, these systems the small samples must be followed in the parent one this phenomena this type of theory is called as the reductionism so we have reduced the huge system into smaller systems and conclude a result from these smaller samples smaller systems and conclude from them that these must be followed also followed in the source i've got this idea how to reduce we reduce the parent into the smaller samples then observe it inside the lab taking some conclusion that these laws are followed inside this these phenomena are taking place in a similar fashion these laws and these uh, different processes must be must be taking place inside the parent source so this is the uh theory of reductionism
So there are two concepts in physics which must be dealt always inside the physics, in the, in the field of physics. One is unification, to unify different theories, to, different, to, to unify different domains. Even though on the first instant that these must be seen that these are totally irrelevant, but with the passage of time you will get that two different domains can be unified. For example, and similarly, first I will deal with reduction. Similarly, reductionism means for huge quantity, for huge bulk system, we reduce it to smaller ones, try to understand these systems and then apply it to back to the parent source. So these are the diff these are two main uh, processes. These are main, main two theories which are must you must be knowing. Like in the unification, we unify, uh, say for example, electromagnetic force with weak force. It is it is the most latest, most latest research. Electro to give electro weak force. I just gave an example of the latest. Maybe somebody among you must must be knowing it. Electro weak force or electro weak electro weak force. This is for just an example. Electromagnetic force is something different. Weak force is something different dealing with the nucleus. But the motive of unification is to is to unify two different domains. Similarly, reductionism is to try to understand a bulk matter, a bulk huge system by reducing or taking the sample systems from that. So concluding from this, we can understand the actual source system. So this was all about the physics and different approaches we can uh, deal with that. I think this class has gone a bit longer we will deal with other terms with the passage of time in the next lecture. So please kindly subscribe. Share. Like. This video. And cooperate with this try to understand our motto should be to understand our universe so support uh, the school of physics understand universe i will see you in the next